In what sounds like the beginning of an awesome movie, a decapitated Egyptian mummy's head has been discovered in an attic in the British county of Kent. Now, scientists are putting it through a state-of-the-art CT scan to try and uncover its secrets. Hi there, I'm the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen, and this is in a new report at Study Finds. Please be sure to like and subscribe to get all of the latest updates. The head, which is at least 2,000 years old, may have been a souvenir brought to England in the 19th century and given to the home's owner in the early 20th century. It was discovered in a glass case as the home was being cleaned out after the death of the owner in Ramsgate. Now, I don't know. That, that sounds like a, a gift that could just be a curse waiting to happen. Do you ever watch those ghost hunter shows? You know, well, uh, so has anybody given you anything that you think may be bringing the unholy demons from hell into your house? Well, there was this 2,000-year-old mummy head. <laughs> yeah, where was I? Oh, researchers say the head, minus its body and any wrappings, can't imagine why he'd be pissed, <laughs> was inherited by the man's brother who took it to the Canterbury Museums and galleries for examination. Preliminary results from a CT scan carried out at Maidstone Hospital indicate that the brain had been removed and the teeth were worn down by a rough diet and the tongue actually shows remarkable preservation. X-rays suggest that the head was from an adult woman. The team is hoping to eventually recreate the face of the mysterious mummy and reconstruct the hidden history of this Egyptian. Researchers said, quote, Beginning in 3500 BC, mummification was a way to safeguard the spirit on its journey to the afterlife. Mummification was a common practice within ancient Egypt for both commoners and royalty, although with different levels of complexity and accompanying wealth. Yes, that racket has still continued to this day. The head is being preserved by professional archaeological conservator Dana Goodburn Brown, ACR, who is also coordinating the research efforts. As part of a collaborative scientific investigation of the head, experts from Canterbury Christ Church University, University of Kent, and the University of Oxford will attempt to reconstruct the history of the individual. The group hopes to present the findings to the public at the Beanie Museum in Canterbury sometime in the near future. Scientists say the CT data from this individual will help to understand the wider picture of mummification and will be shared with the Impact Mummy Database hosted by Western University. Who knew there was a mummy database? <laughs> the more you know. Here you thought this was just another video. Don't you feel smarter? You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.